Hello everyone, and thanks for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mokul Lover, and let's continue playing as the Union of Breton. Uh, last time we capitulated the Germans, and right now it looks like the Soviets are dealing with the rebirth of uh, the Polish state. They have two divisions, so I'm thinking, that's a lot of manpower, but they're on scraping the barrel. But uh, something tells me the Poles probably won't survive for very long. Um... I hope someone deals some, does something with these guys. Uh, I think the Soviets eventually will deal with the remnants of the German military over here in what was Romania. But for us, what are we going to do? Well, our goal is to get further into Spain. Obviously, uh, I've already launched an attack this way into Spain. Our, our infantry divisions are moving across into Italy. Whether successfully or unsuccessfully so far. And, uh, yeah, we have been doing a pretty good number on the Hungarians. We've already lost at least, probably, at least a quarter of their entire country at this point. So that's pretty good. Uh, let's see. Bulgaria, not looking super good. Not looking super good at the moment. Uh, yeah, this concerns me. I really don't want the Russians to get that, but there will be a peace conference eventually in which we will deal everything out. Yeah, I'm thinking that the Soviets will get whatever remnants of Poland that they want. I will keep... Honestly, I'm probably just going to keep all the German forces. Th that'll piss the Soviets off, but I think I deserve them. Just because the Soviets never took any German territory. They never took a single piece of territory, and obviously we have. And we're still fighting, of course, the Spaniards. Who, who do we have to capitulate? The, the Italians and the Spanish. That's who I thought. And then I guess we'll have some allies in El Salvador, Guatemala, and Croatia. So, in the end... Soviets will probably get Romania and maybe Poland or Polish territory. Other than that, uh, Lithuania probably as well, but that's pretty much it, in my opinion. That'll piss the Soviets off, which I'm fine with, you know. Nothing like pissing off a bunch of Soviets. Uh, because our version of communism, of course, is better than everyone else's in the history of the world. Uh, let's see, tanks, you are still going on. That's good. And, of course, we still have outdated equipment in production, which means our heavy ships, which are only 1936 heavy ships are still busy being prepared. Also, one thing before I forget, I did organize this a lot better. So, uh, for example, our strike force now has four 1936 carriers. I've shifted things around a little bit. Uh, I have better placement of our subs, with many subs being repaired right now, or upgrading, since we're not really fighting too hard, uh, at least navally. I've expanded the great amount of light ships that we had and doled them out in increments and doses so that the British patrols would have a greater number of ships per task force. So, hopefully this is a little bit better. What is this doing over here? This is a group. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, you're repairing. Okay, that's fine. Because then I did deal out a few extra ships here and there. And British, British patrols are just, I don't know, they're just exercising or something. Not really sure if there's really any big deal for that. Actually, you guys could probably exercise instead and have the patrols actually do something else since they are available. Uh, so you guys are protecting here. Is that it? Four. There's one, two, and three. Uh, actually, that's not too bad. You know what? All of you, don't do that. Go home, repair, and then I'll send you guys out to do this. There you go. They'll do, they'll take over that job for now, of course. For now. All right, very good. And Hungary is gone. Very good. Very very good. Which hasn't really changed the line too much. Awesome. And let's see. Ching China is now a puppet, so that's why I started the game up again. And there was nothing about Ching China wanting to join my faction. Uh, how are the tanks doing down here? Ah, oh, they actually broke through. Very good. Very good. The Spanish, of course, have lost many, many men. Very many. Hmm. Division attack on core territory and defense. That's that's pretty good. Something we should keep in mind when fighting with these bastardinos, these Spaniards. And actually, I'm probably going to attack this area next week and move that single infantry division down. Oh, it's paused. No wonder nothing's going on. And get that infantry division down so we can push this way. And here we go. 
Oh, that's four divisions with one Venezuelan division in there. Would it be possible to do this? Do we need it? No, we mm, probably don't. Bomber command, better strategic bomber and tactical bomber models. Radar, not bad. Jet aircraft, not bad. And I'll do jet aircraft because it's 1943. We might be interested in jet aircraft as we are taking out those pesky Italian boyos. Good. Italy will probably be the next one to fall, if not Croatia or Bulgaria. This is, of course, getting swamped over by the Soviets. Totally fine with me. Uh, you know what? At this point, go ahead and move in. The Hungarian divisions are probably weak if there are any left. Croatia is out of manpower. Italy is almost no manpower. And, of course, the Spaniards do have a little bit left to their name. Uh, go here. Open up another front. Or another, uh, I guess, technically, it is a front to that. Okay, Costa Rica. Uh, of course. That To do this. All right. Very good. More combat width, more distractions, very awesome. Tanks doing a great job slowly entering into Spain as the infantry are slowly expanding and encircling a bunch of soldiers here, which is very, very good. I want you to distract these two soldiers as we try to get Nice. If we can get Nice, then... Yeah, don't let them come in. Don't let them come in. If we can get Nice... These, all these soldiers, these Italian and Croatian soldiers, will perish. Come on, you got this. Get in there, too. Oh, low echelon support. Ground support, very cool. Uh, fighter detection sounds like a good idea. Also, by the way, I did not tell you this either. I'm a little man of... I'm not a little man, but I'm a guy of tricks, apparently. Uh, some coffee first. Ah, but... I did expand the amount of planes that we do have. Uh, let's see, right now, actually, fighters, I need. I just need more rubber. I want to expand the number of fighters we have. And by he fighters, I mean heavy fighters. Carrier fighters, naval bombers, tactical bombers, one. Heavy fighters, you come in with me down here. You will be the catch-all for everything here on out. Yeah, get rid of these infantry equipment things. That's fine. Cool. And I will ask for... Actually, I'm not going to ask for rubber because we can't really get any. Because it's over the ocean. I don't want to have deal with convoys that are dying. And we have cut all these people off from supplies. Very good. Very awesome. And... Oh, Northern Italy is mostly ours. Now we're focusing on Central Italy. The rest of this area. Uh, this is probably the wrong thing to do right now. I want everyone to prepare, though. I don't want to attack just yet. I mean, yeah, there's not a lot of divisions down here, but with a pre preparation bonus, let's see, they're entrenched, but a planned preparation attack bonus, this will be very good. shang has capitulated. They were part of the Japanese faction, I think? Can't remember if they are not. All right, maybe they're not preparing. Maybe no one's preparing. Did I have it paused? I don't think I did. Go ahead and get rid of these two Spanish divisions. They won't need that. Oh, then again, uh, not all of my armies are over here. Cool! Those guys did great! Ooh, but I'm gonna have to split this army up, it looks like. Hmm, you guys are actually... Oh, you know what? This is what we'll do. We'll put you here for six. I want all of six of you over here. We need just maybe one army down to take out Italy. I think we might need more. We'll try this. Uh... Wow, these generals are so good, but they've already are being used. Uh, Arthur Percival, chance to get wounded? Eh, whatever. We got space for you. Give him more attack. Come down here. Do that. I want to finish off pretty much all these guys, but we'll see what happens. We'll definitely see what happens. And Panama joined the American Union state, Mexican Soviet Republic. Guys, guys. You have Americans in your country, and they're not, like, even close to the historical U.S.-Mexico border. You can't keep declaring war on countries. Well, I guess you can. They're like the Germany of the common turn right now. Like, the Germany always just gets, just declares war on everything and everybody. But in this universe, no. Communist Mexico does. Oh, we also have better stability as well, and I've been making more airplane wings as so. Just to let you guys know. At the end of this war, I will, however liberate Northern Ireland and give it back to the state of Ireland. 
That is my goal, dismantle Czechoslovakian forts. I kind of like where they are at. Oh, come on. oh my, Nicaragua! Nicaragua, what are you doing? Come on. I really don't need to do any of this stuff. This does give you more stability, but doing this just increases the cost of all the next ones by 10. More political power. Mm, don't really need it, honestly. However, this stuff, I don't mind. Uh, People's United Provinces, how communist are you? That's not bad, 55%. Naval heritage is pretty good. They no longer get a modifier that makes them less communist now, which is good, we might do that. But Soviet state of Norway, you are more communist. Honestly, I'll probably do this first, just because they're further more communist. If I can get them to 100% communist, that would be great. So let's do that, research speed. Does hit our political power by quite a bit, but whatever. Also, we're still boosting party popularity or our, our ideology in the Netherlands anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, I thought there was an extra province here. My bad. Um, you guys, just... You know, if you can attack, do it carefully. Do we have any more planes? Since I did give these guys quite a few planes. I did do this at the end of... After the last episode, so... Uh, close air support. We might have a couple more things of close air support here. That would, that might help out. Maybe a little bit more, since Italy is pretty much out of manpower. Spain? Hispania, what are you up to? Hmm. I want to keep moving to the right, so we can help our line out. That'll probably be better for us. Do that. Let's see. Very good. We got time. We got plenty of time right now. Improved depth charge more. Oh, yeah, so much. So good. So good. Uh, 1940 heavy ship hull. That's good. 1944 carrier hull. Oh, wow. Fire control measures. More heavy attack, light attack. Chance to receive critical hits. Hmm. Well, is there anything else? I mean, there's this stuff. Uh, construction. Extraction. I need more rubber, actually. Let's do that. I need definitely need more rubber. And just before we get too far, I want to make sure that June 1944, April 1944, and March. So March, April 1944, I'm going to forget. So I'm going to need you to tell me that you need to switch one of those battleships over to a 1940... Yeah, 1940s battleship. All right, let's see if we can attack this direction here. Next, yes. Looking good. Looking good so far. Not bad, not bad at all. As the rest of Europe is definitely falling. Um... You guys, how are you guys doing? Well, you're, you're having a mixed success in Bulgaria, which is kind of surprising. I didn't think they'd be that great, but, you know, we haven't taken a bunch of casualties compared to the uh, Axis. And we are making gains, kind of. Maybe not so much. Lower this a little bit, please. That would be good. I just want to make sure that the Soviets do not get access to Bulgaria. Oh, uh, you come here. Dobrish? Hmm... Actually, reform this front line just in case. That's better. This just because I don't want to guard a line with the Soviets that doesn't really need to be needed. Good. I think it's Varna. Oh, but you come here. I want Varna so I can cut the Soviets off, and then the Soviets can really focus on Poland, which is dead already. But really, Japan. Get Varna. Oh, we took. Oh, we get Dobrish then. Okay, that's fine with me. I don't really care. Uh, send one of you divisions this way to help out. And you can probably send one of these guys, too. Oh, very good. Very, very good. Alan Cunningham, good job. Very good job. Tanks, well, you definitely inserted yourself in here this way. Uh, come this way with infantry, just so that we can shore up the line a little bit better. Three divisions, probably not going to be able to hold out. Awesome. It's almost 1944. Better logistic companies for our tanks. William Gott. Anything here? No, 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 no. Awesome. Good. Uh, let's reform the front line here again. Spain has definitely got a lot of divisions. Actually, we can move out this way if we wanted to. Catalonia. We are in the mountains, which is a terrible place to attack. But I'm going to do attack this next province. Spain is going to be a huge pain in the butt. Hmm. Not bad, pretty good. Italy, you are doing okay. 
You are careful. I did put them on the careful button, so they are attacking with, hopefully, some sort of care. And it sounds like our guest, Mocha here, has decided to leave my room. So please give me about three seconds for me to ensure his safe passage out. Right, Mocha? There you go. Bye, and he's out. Out was probably longer than three seconds, but you know what? I wasn't counting. Someone might have been, but I wasn't. Uh, uh, they want to give us aid? You know what? That's okay. Just we are guarding this area. I'm totally okay with that. Is anyone training? No, no one's training. Uh, yeah, you guys should train. Go ahead and train. I need more naval XP. We will definitely need it. With you guys, just... You know what? Let's have a little bit of fun. Let's have a little bit of fun here. Croatia will die, Bulgaria will die, Italian held Greece will die. Ah, I love it. All right, thanks. I want to get through this part of the map, at least through the mountains. Ah, there goes Bulgaria. Awesome. Just because I could stack all seven of my armies over here, but it still wouldn't be enough. Because the attrition would just be so atrocious. And actually right now, give them a little bit more of a force attack because the mountains are terrible. Absolutely terrible. Atrocious. We don't need any more manpower for now. We're pretty good. Air superiority. Bomber. Oh, that's not bad. Screens. I love screens. That actually would be extremely beneficial. But naval... Naval air attacks. Oh, that's really good. Holy crap. Air attack targeting and agility. That's really good, in my opinion. This is also very... Not bad. <laughs> very not bad. And naval maneuver. That's okay. It's, that's not too bad. They're all... I mean, they're all benefits. Air experience gain. Don't probably need that. No, no, no. Air designer. Well, I'm using heavy fighters. I want to make sure those are the best. Carrier fighters are not bad. Agility, max speed. <laughs> Naval bombers are awesome. Closer sports, awesome. I think I'm going to go with heavy fighter reliability. It makes everything very, very reliable. That we probably will save a... Oh, God, look at the... Okay, we had 666 factories, whatever. Uh, makes... Our planes just that much more reliable if they get hit, shot down. No, thank you. Um, yeah, just tell you guys to go crazy. Yeah, very cool. Also, if you didn't know, apparently Kaiserreich had an, a uh, hotfix or an update in which Man the Guns is now compatible in Kaiserreich. So if you were interested or wondering when Kaiserreich was going to be finally updated with Man the Guns DLC, it is finally done and here to pl be played with. So that is an option for a future playthrough. Now, we'll actually play Kaiserreich next. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, actually, I need you over here. I know there's going to be attrition and stuff, but get over it. Uh, next. A good place to attack is just keep going it's this way. Really. It's probably the best area for us to go. Uh, jet aircraft. Awesome. And we'll just do that next, because why not? Send these two down here as well. Uh, what is the air power like? I know I didn't give my tanks a bunch of... Yeah, a hundred each. That's like nothing. Um, da -da -dum 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 -dum. Give them 400 more bombers. I didn't give you anything. Jesus, I'm so bad. Uh, Blenheimers. Level 1s. Fighter, heavy Fighter 2s. Give them this. That should definitely help us out there. Oh yeah, that will help us out too much. Well, maybe not too much, but this will definitely give us quite an advantage. Very good, very, very good. Um, you know what, since you're attacking, I kind of want to... Uh, we don't really have enough divisions for the entire line, but we have one division here that could help us out. Uh, five divisions are defending, uh, against two tank divisions. Will it work? That is the question. It is 1944, so happy 1944, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. Uh, you know what? We got 3D infantry divisions there. We might as well just keep on going on, then. They have three divisions over here. I know I'm ignoring the rest of the line. Whatever. That's okay. That's the way we wanted it. We are winning with these two tank divisions, though. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Not too bad. Hmm. Very awesome. Oh. Fuel is not looking good, though. Venezuela joined our allies. Venice? Uh. So Venezuela joined the Axis because they were declared war upon by the Comintern. Oh, what's going on down here? I didn't completely ignore this. Nigerian Federation as well as Ghana have come back because of probably 
the Soviet islands of Indonesia and Indonesia, Nigerian Federation, and Irish People's Republic. Well, guys, I don't have access to your land, so I can't support you that much, but Godspeed. Hope you're okay. And it looks like Japan is really making a comeback. Wow, this looks cancerous, but it looks they're definitely coming back against China. Interesting. Who is in the common turn? Or no, no. They're in their, their own block. Yeah, China's in their own block. Fighting the Japanese, the Poles, and yeah. Xinjiang is fighting the Axis as well as the Hondurans, Nicaraguans, and oh. Oh, they're in the common turn. That makes sense. Colombia joined the American Union. Yeah, yeah, this is disgusting. China, please hold out. Hey, we got Rome, guys. We got Rome. Oh, my gosh. Look at all the divisions. Oh, holy crap. I should not have been ignoring this. Um, just make it all down here. Rome has fallen. That is great. We have found a few Spanish ships out down here. Eh? Very cool. Um... Yeah, definitely t send the tanks this way. Send the infantry here as well. That'll be good. That'll be very good. Awesome. Uh, regarding this, I don't need six armies for this part. So send 24 divisions. Come down here and put them out of their misery. And I'm going to start sending some of these divisions back this way over here. Not all of them, but a lot of them. This direction, please. Thank you very much. And how's this looking? Seven divisions versus our six attacking ones. There, the Spanish are getting more manpower, which can be a concern, but I'm not too concerned about it at the moment. Yeah, you guys just go nuts when you get down there. Thomas, what do you have? Nothing? Awesome. Nope. Okay, let's get our tanks focused on something here first. So we've pretty much pa pushed past the entire mountain range. I mean, there's still probably some hills around here. But overall, that's pretty good. Oh, do we have some more divisions? Two more divisions. Awesome. Down here. Richard O'Connor wounded. Oh, well, I'm sorry to hear about that. I'm going to let these guys take all of these areas out first. T send half of you guys. Come down here. Send one division. Get here in Chalcis, Patras, and Kalamata. Kalamata? Something like that. Very cool. As, I mean, yeah... We haven't hit 2 million casualties, so I'm not really concerned about that yet. Italy will fall soon enough. As well as... Oh my goodness. As well as the Spanish will as well. So they're attacking us, which means we should attack them, right? Exactly. And they're probably going to beat us in a couple places like Huesca. Yeah, that's not an easy place to defend. But, well, we got two divisions there. That's not bad. William Platt is earning his keep. Very good. Can you attack here? How many divisions do they have? They have three, but they're not very strong divisions. Interesting. We can neuter the Spaniards. That would be correct. Very awesome. I want you to attack right back. They want to attack us. Well, we'll surround them and make sure that they can't really escape. Alright, they're doing that. They're doing that. Hold the line there. Do we have any more infantry coming this way yet? No. It is March. I am paying attention a little bit, but I will probably forget about... Um, I will probably forget about the battleship. Awesome. We encircled a few divisions here. Great. Three divisions there. Send one tank division this way to Jarona. And I can't really tell how many tanks are actually over here. There's four divisions in total that have, uh, have disappeared. There you go. A lot of factories we got. Oh, yeah. This one's right up next. That's good. Ah, improved rubber processing. Great. Night vision. 1944 goodness. Uh, ballistic research. Eh, that's okay. Oh, better planes. We definitely want better planes. Let's get that first. And then we have... Oh, we have better ships too. Oh, boy. You know what? Hmm. Would it be worth... Oh, we can research this faster since we are producing destroyers. Pretty much immediately right now. Uh, go this way. Come down here. Send half you guys this way. Send the other half right here right now. And send, like, a single division this way. I want these guys gone. El Salvador is gone. Good job, guys. I'm not sure what we did in El Salvador, but we did something. Do we have the armies over here yet? No. All right, then. I'm just going to put you 
But you, where are you at? Under some other guy. Uh, yeah. There we go. We're going to actually have an army down here now. And since we have so many divisions, we are probably going to need this. Which is probably going to kill our... Oh, we're actually out of artillery. I did not realize that. I'm glad I checked this. Artillery. We got a lot of fact, a lot of rubber now. That's great. Actually, we probably need to remove some from our trade node. Good. Very good. Uh, actually, we, I guess we've already used up all that rubber. Okay then. Look at the tanks. Look at the tanks. Not bad. Go ahead and push in a little bit harder as we are getting more infantry down here. Civilian factory sabotaged. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, no. Ooh, a nuclear reactor. Ooh, baby, I love that. Yeah, that's okay. Boys anti-tank rifle. I love that they call it the boys anti-tank rifle. We don't have men around here, no. Boys anti-tank rifles. Uh, super close. Yeah, I'm not researching better uh, just battleships yet, but eh, we'll get there. Defend. Defend for now. As the infantry are moving their way over here. And if we get all the infantry over to Spain, maybe I can send the tanks this way to help capitulate the boys over here a little bit faster. Can we kill these guys, please? How many guys are actually over here? Three? Three divisions is not too bad. And the Spanish, they are attacking like a bunch of crazies. A lot of casualties, a lot of casualties. I love it. Ah, uh, we have our boys over here now already. Go ahead and give them a good time to push. You know what? Go crazy. Can the tanks go crazy enough that they can just basically capitulate the enemy? Because we have enough infantry to hold the line now. Not too worried about that. Give the British tanks a time to shine. Even though Italy should really be a higher priority, but, you know, whatever. I mean, you guys are uncareful, so... And that's why Richard O'Connor was injured, I suppose. Ooh, adaptable. Ah, that's not bad. Te oh, that's actually really good. Terrain penalty reduction plus 50%. That's really, really good, in my opinion. You're much more inclined to work with the naturist land places, or, you know, mountains and hills and swamps like that. Much more inclined to work with those areas instead of anything else. Instead of fighting it, you embrace it. Let's see. Oh, better radar, yes. Lovely. Heavy batteries, still only level 2. I don't think we can get any better aircraft things. No, this is a very nice battleship, which we will probably not even get to. Next up is April 4th, so in five days, four or five days, remind me to get that done. Spain will die by the end of this episode. Um, I've already told the tanks to go. Send the infantry. Ah, oh, that's really, actually really good to do that. We just got better logistic companies. So good. Amazing. Um, special forces. Naval stuff. Yeah, naval stuff is important. Very, actually very important to do. Uh, by the time we get the next set done, it really won't matter yet. Subs, I mean, let's do improve snorkel first. Because then by the time we do subs, we'll have everything ready to go. In Spain, I hope you're ready for some massive casualties. Because now, because we sent the infantry over, I've sent over a lot. Or, not maybe not a lot, but quite a bit of ground support to help my guys out. So that would be great. Oh my goodness, can we make an encirclement here? I want all of you guys to get, like, here. Just make it your job right now. Alright, whatever. Oh my goodness, we actually made an encirclement without me doing very much. Three divisions there, and then another 11 divisions in here. So that's 14 divisions in total. Oh no, Spain, that's not good for you. That's really not good. Oh, 20, 22 divisions! Oh, that's not good. Oh, but it's so delicious for us. I don't know where they went, but... Oh, there they are. 27 divisions encircled in this freaking small, hilly, mountainous area. And they're gone. They're just dead. 3 million casualties now. And I'm still below... Oh. How many was that? I'm below 2 million. Let's go and reform the lines, because we are expanding very quickly through here. That's good. That's very, very good. Uh, Dominican Republic, I don't really care. I don't give a crap about the Dominican Republic. Just like most of the public doesn't. Yes, 
do that. Put all of you guys, like, over here. Actually, you know what? I think we've shattered them so hard. I need you guys in Italy. Send them to Italy first. Because they need help. Because right now, I think... Yeah, the Spanish are done. They're just done. They still have, they have manpower, but I don't think they have equipment. I mean, we can't really... We don't really know, but... I don't think they have equipment levels. And why am I doing... Why am I sending my tanks right now to Italy? That's because we're getting close to the supposed... Or at least my personal mark for how long a video should be of this type of game. We definitely need more oil, first of all. But, I want to finish off the Axis in this episode. Puerto Rico, who cares? Uh, very good. Italy is close to capitulating as well as national Spain. Awesome. And of course, these guys could definitely use some extra help down here. Richard O'Connor, do you have another thing? Improved expert, guerrilla warfare, whatever. You're very experienced. Arthur Percival, you are definitely learning things, but not very much. Tanks have made it down to the Italian border. Great. What is the manpower like? They have a little bit of manpower left, as everyone else is just kind of just kind of hanging out in an island, which they could be easily killed in. And yes, I did forget about this. Sorry. <laughs> 1940s, yes please, that's not done yet. These are not done yet either, but we'll upgrade them when we get there. Tanks. Good, good. oh, there goes Spain, great! Wow, they really had no equipment, holy crap. This is half of their infantry equipment, one and a half thousand pieces of artillery, or guns I mean. Wowzers. Ameria. All right, this is it. Tanks, I need you to move out. I need you to go crazy, but first of all, I need you to be on the line. <laughs> I'm not going to send you to go out until there's enough guys here. Alright, never mind. Oh, go crazy. Oh yeah, you can have a force attack button as well. Canada joined the American Union. You know, I was going to ask you guys, should I invade the United States and Canada and the American Union? Right now, I'm thinking no. That means I have to invade Canada and probably, you know the United States proper, and getting into South America, North America is very difficult. We don't want a super long campaign like that. I think the next step, and the last final step in this campaign, will be to take out the Comintern. Yes, yes, Mexico is part of the Comintern, but at least take over the land of the Comintern in Europe and Asia. I think that would be a good final step within this series. Uh, just because, I think last time I also tried to take out the United States, it just took forever. And, you know... As fun as that is, it's not fun every single campaign that you do. Wow, we have a lot less manpower. Wow. And there we go. So, this has been the end of the Axis in this series. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. At this point, I will go ahead and dismantle the Axis into what I think should be properly uh, communist, egalitarian-ish. Some people are more equal than others, but you know, whatever. With that in mind, regardless of guys, please leave a like if you like the video, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you tomorrow as we get ready for a <clears throat> potential invasion of uh, the commenter. Thanks for watching, guys.